Kurt Angle will have his last ever match against Baron Corbin. Let that just sink into your brain for one second. Kurt Angle, the Olympic gold medalist, a multi-time world champion, a king of the ring winner, a wrestler who many people say picked up the sport faster than anybody in history, will end his career by taking on the Constable. Or at least that's what you're meant to believe if you watch this week's episode of Monday Night Raw. There was no hoopla, there was no build, there was no climax. Angle just walked to the ring, he got a microphone and said, hey look, I've talked to the McMahons, they're lovely people, they let me choose, and I choose Baron Corbin. Even though Baron Corbin spent this episode of Raw losing matches to Apollo Crews. But if you take that as well as some other happenings that we've just seen, I don't think that Kurt Angle is actually going to be taking on Baron Corbin at WrestleMania 35. Why? <laughs> National Hood Week is back. Here's why. Now, obviously, this is me following my gut instincts and putting it all on the line. And I'm well aware, if I'm wrong, I'm going to get absolutely lambasted for it. I can already see the tweet. Isn't that what life is all about? You're meant to take risks. You're meant to put yourself out there and see what happens. Dare to fail is the phrase. And it's a phrase that I love so much. If I wanted a tattoo, I would have it tattooed across my ass. No, I wouldn't. I'd just have it on my arm. But back on topic, given how all of this was so meh on Raw, I totally believe that we are going to get a swerve down the line. Swerve me up good and proper. Point one, the Apollo Crews match, which we've already mentioned. I like Apollo Crews. I think he's all right, but he has been harmed by bad booking for around about 700 and 46 years. For whatever reason, WWE wants to treat him like a jobber, and therefore now we see him as a jobber. And yet on Raw, he was booked to beat Baron Corbin. He rolled him up out of nowhere, and he smiled as if it was Christmas Day. So are you telling me that someone backstage in WWE decided to finally give Apollo a win against Baron Corbin a few weeks away from WrestleMania? My brain says no. Way Jose. Because that ruins it no matter how you look at it. Let's say that Baron is going to defeat Angle at WrestleMania. That makes Kurt look like an absolute chump. He couldn't even beat the guy who lost to Apollo Crews. And if Kurt is going to win, so what? He just beat Baron Corbin, the guy who lost to Apollo Crews a few weeks ago on Raw. And I ain't crapping over Apollo Crews here. Like I say, I like him, but that's just the way he's been treated. So that's the vibes he puts out. That is so crazy, I don't think anybody in their right mind would do it. If you are going to put Baron Corbin in a proper big match at WrestleMania, you build him up throughout the weeks. You have him defeat everybody. So you start as a fan, you start thinking, well, this guy, he is a bit of a threat. I hope Kurt Angle isn't in trouble. I don't want to see Kurt Angle lose his retirement match. You don't think, wasn't it nice seeing Apollo Crews and Kurt Angle do their little dance and wiggle at the top of the stage because they were both so pleased about Apollo beating Baron Corbin? That don't work, man. That ain't logic. Point two, the revival. Something else that did happen on Raw was that Dash and Dawson were seen with Baron Corbin and Corbin, he was trying to like moxie up with them and be their friends. He even said, these guys like me, and the tag team champions laughed and said, no, we don't. We don't like you to give all of us the impression that nobody likes Baron Corbin. That actually makes me feel a bit sad. I always want someone to be liked. So Baron Corbin, I will go on record now and saying, I like you. I think you dress very smartly. But it is just more evidence in the tank for LOL. This waistcoat wearing Poindexter is an absolute jackass. Again, not someone you should be fearing mere weeks away from WrestleMania. Point three. The commentary. I know the announced team can be very handed with things that they are given to say. In fact, sometimes it feels a bit like they've been given a sledgehammer and they continually smash you over the head with it to the point you're like, please do kill me. I don't want to hear it anymore. I do accept this, but from the moment Angle revealed who he would be facing, Michael Cole and co kept going on about the fact that the fans in the arena don't like it at all. We've been on social media and there's a backlash. And let's face it, if those dudes were going to talk about social media backlashes every time wrestling fans were upset on Twitter, that's all you'd get on Raw. That's all you'd get on SmackDown. That's all you'd get on pay-per-views. I don't like what Ronda Rousey is doing. She's breaking kayfabe. She's only been in the business for a year. She shouldn't be allowed to do this. 
and so on. And yeah, there's no real proof to it, but it would mean that A, WWE decided to do this anyway, even though they knew how everybody would feed back, and B, they were actively telling people, watching Raw, look at our own fans poo-pooing on our own product. Absolutely bonkers. Even when Roman used to get booed, we got quips like, oh, we're in Bizarro Land, or the fans, they're so passionate this evening. At no point did they actually call a spade a spade, which was, of course, Roman Reigns is getting booed because nobody right now happens to like Roman Reigns. It's a whole thing, go on the internet, find out about it. Point four, John Cena, he still needs something to do. Now, given how WWE operates in 2019, there's every chance that as I'm saying these words and presenting this video, they could have thrown something out there and all of a sudden it turns out that John Cena has been announced for SmackDown or he's been announced for WrestleMania or he's going to be a guest host or he's going to be a special referee or maybe he's going to be the actual building itself. WrestleMania 35 coming live to you from John Cena. But I can only go with what I know and what I do know is that John Cena doesn't have a plan for April 7th and given that the best plan you could possibly come up with is to have John Cena face Kurt Angle in his retirement match when John Cena faced Kurt Angle in his debut match. Well, you can't just ignore that. And if you do, someone needs to come and slap you around with a fish so you could wake up and smell its guts. When do opportunities like that present themselves so easily? It's not often. And again, if you do choose to ignore that, I think that somebody needs to be fired. I don't mean that. I retract that statement. I never want anyone to be fired. I want everyone to continually earn a wage and enjoy their jobs but it does smack of lunacy. You absolutely do have to embrace that, mostly because the fans would love it. And I still remember what you told me back in December, WWE. You told me that I was the authority along with the rest of the WWE universe. So we, as the WWE universe, are making a match. We're making a match for WrestleMania. It's Kurt Angle versus John Cena and Kurt Angle's a time about. You also negate whatever the result would be if Angle did manage to sneak out a win. He just beat John Cena. John Cena on the grandest stage to them all. That would blow some people's brains. And it doesn't hurt John Cena. He's John Cena. He can do whatever he wants now and his legacy remains. It's set in stone. If Angle loses though, okay, cool. He lost to John Cena, who is often brought up when we discuss the best wrestlers of all time. And you may not agree with that and you may think that's crazy, but his name is mentioned. Some people out there do think John Cena is the best wrestler they've ever seen. You've just got to deal with it. It also gives Cena the chance to get his win back. Not that that really matters. But in 2002, Angle rolled up Cena for the win. And now in 2019, we can balance all that out. Hell, Cena, you can even wear those red shorts again. They were quite fanciful. Picture the scene too. Corbin is backstage. He's all ready for his big WrestleMania match. And then from nowhere, he gets waylaid by the man that nobody can be seen, hence why he was able to sneak up and do this outrageous attack. Cena then marches to the ring and he does his whole ruthless aggression speech and all the fans would get off on that because remember, he did do that around about 20 years ago and they, they can just have a fight. Doesn't matter if it's a good fight, doesn't matter if it's a bad fight because the sheer star power in the match means you get away with it. How many times have we seen that? Go back and watch Rock vs Hulk Hogan. Incredible match, but you turn the fans down and it's decent at best, but because it's The Rock vs Hulk Hogan, pow. It would work, and I think we know that, from Raw. People in Chicago. Chicago were chanting John Cena's name, and he usually gets booed like he was part of some financial scam that robbed them of their life's inheritance. And I get that we don't have faith in WWE anymore and think they're always going to screw us over, but I don't think that is one of these occasions. I think they're planting seeds to do one of these swerves that recently They've loved to do. Think of Kofi Kingston. Think of Becky Lynch. Swerving is back on the table, probably because WWE Swerved on the network got cancelled. Someone's like, I love Swerved. I want it back. And Vince went, put it on Raw. Put it on SmackDown. Also, the story is too obvious and the payoff is too good. And let's not forget, it is the kind of thing that Kurt Angle deserves. If this is going to be the last time we ever see him wrestling in a pro wrestling ring, you've got to go all out and you've got to make sure it's worthy of someone that many ways Changed the industry. He was part of this star revolution and he picked it up so damn quick. Come on, just come on, you've got to do something good. And yeah, I know I'm setting myself up for a fall, but I'm confident. When I'm confident, I put my hood up because it is National Hood Week and I march with power. And I also want to make it clear, this ain't nothing against Baron Corbin. I think Baron Corbin's cool. As I said earlier, I am going on the I like Baron Corbin train. 
I just kind of think his character has been dragged through the mud a little bit. Also, he ain't John Cena because nobody is John Cena. That takes 15 years of work, hustle, loyalty, dedication, whatever else he says. So make it happen, WWE. Make it happen and take WrestleMania 35, which is going to go on for 791 years and in the middle of it. Slap bang in the middle. Give me John Cena versus Kurt Angle so I can salute an Olympic hero and feel good about my life. Until the next time you do something I don't enjoy, then of course I will be back on Twitter running you down. But now as I know, Michael Cole will talk about it and I can feel a little bit like I'm famous. 35, WrestleMania, Cena, Angle, thank you. Now don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know what you think about all of this. If you think it's going to be Kurt Angle versus Baron Corbin, write that with a tick. If you think it's going to be John Cena versus Kurt Angle, write that with a tick. Let's get this argument exploding into the world. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to What Culture Wrestling. Go and read some more articles on whatculture.com. Go and follow What Culture on Twitter, What Culture WWE. And once you are done commenting, go watch more videos here on What Culture Wrestling, including raw ups and downs. Keep you catching up with the raw. That is not the tagline, nor is it proper grammar. My name is Simon from What Culture. This was the Y Series. Thank you very much for joining me. Make sure you put your hood up this week to celebrate National Hood Week. It is a real holiday and not something I made up because I fancy wearing my hood. I love you all and I will see you when I see you. And let's not, let's hope it's like, you know, in the time we're meant to see each other. Because otherwise, who knows what's going on? Maybe the very paradoxes of time have come together and we're about to fall into the space continuum of death. Nobody wants that. Happened back in 2002 and it absolutely sucked. Remember, John Cena, Kurt Angle, do it.